if you like kitschy music, Quebec has some of the best kitschy music on earth, including bird sounds. Montreal has one of the best music scenes in the world. I think it's because there are really no rules. Anyone can get started, anybody could form a band and a week later play their first show. Montreal's rent is so much cheaper than anywhere else. You really get like an influx of young creative artists who come here and they can really ply their trade without having to work 70 hours a week just to pay rent. Hi, my name is Eric Layen, and I'm a freelance music journalist in Montreal. If you're a music fan, music lover, and you come to Montreal and you want to see where the locals are buying their records, like the real hardcore fans, you got to come to Cheap Thrills. It's a place where I'm always discovering stuff, and I feel like I can kind of discover on my own time. Cheap Thrills has the distinction of being Montreal's first used record shop. They hooked up so many Montreal artists over the years. Arcade Fire used to hand make their records and bring them here. And that was like probably the first place where they sold a record. This is what has survived of, of CD technology. It was an amazing afternoon at Cheap Thrills. Now we're inside House of Jazz in downtown. And right now it's about the Saint Cassette hour. So in English you would call it happy hour. But here it's called Saint Cassette because it's from five to seven. House of Jazz is a place where you can go, have a cocktail. It's also known for dinner and show. It's one of the biggest jazz clubs in Montreal. They get out-of-towners, but otherwise you get really the cream of the crop of the local scene, which is extremely talented. So we're currently on the Plateau Mont-Royal. It is the most densely populated neighborhood in Canada, and it is the artistic center of Montreal. We're at Divan Range, a music venue and dive bar right in the heart of the plateau. I think they're about to start. Let's go. Divan Range, it's famous for just being open all the time. They do, so usually like two shows a night, almost every night. So they do like over 700 shows a year and it is mostly local bands. It's also quite famous for being a place where a lot of bands will get their first show. They'll just book anyone in a way if you can get in. In Montreal, you get a lot of people from all over Canada and the United States who come here for a cheap tuition and they invariably fall in the music scene. Every four years, a new generation of youngsters come in and they start up bands and the whole process begins anew. 